USMB4 News at 6. Drivers in Nashville say they thought they paid for parking, but ended up with boots on their cars instead. So this is the latest complaint about parking lots run by a Nashville company, uncovered by our chief investigative reporter, Jeremy Finley. On August 7th, Abigail Taylor was so mad about the boot put on her car, she wanted to document it. 11 days later, she's still not over it. Lied to, taken advantage of, it was crappy. I mean, that's in one word. Leela Castile didn't just take this picture on June 24th, but several other photos that day of all the vehicles that got boots, including her brothers, who she says went through the app to pay. It's bullying tactics. Both women parked in premier parking lots owned by the company Metropolis. If the name sounds familiar, it's the same lots exposed in a series of WSMB4 investigations that issue high fines to drivers who say they paid or simply drove through. Cameras in these lots are supposed to record license plates to issue fines to people who don't pay. But Taylor and Castiles both say they went through the steps on the company's app and then left. When they returned, they say they had no choice but to pay the fine on the spot to get the boot removed. In fact, in Taylor's case, the company said she had an unpaid ticket from April when she says she wasn't even in town. So paying for both fines and the boot? I paid $269 in total. And you're a college student? Yes. <laughs> That's got to hurt. It's it <laughs> After using the app, both checked their bank accounts to find they had not been charged for parking. Both appealed the tickets, saying they tried to pay. Castile was denied. Taylor got no response. I felt duped. I felt like I did everything right. And then there's Robert Lewis from Atlanta, who came to visit to see an old friend. He says when they went to try and figure out how to pay, a boot was placed on his car. It was within three minutes of parking the vehicle. He's so angry, he wrote the mayor using this word to describe what happened. You really believe that this is predatory? Oh, yes, it was very predatory because it was within minutes. As we were doing interviews, we saw the towing company, TriStar, drive slowly through a lot, appearing to look at vehicles. A spokesman from Metropolis denied our request for an interview, but confirms they do allow TriStar to put boots on cars the very first time their system shows that someone didn't pay. The frustration is mounting for these drivers. They cannot reach anyone from Metropolis by phone. Metro's transportation department says because these are private lots, there's nothing they can do. Given that Lewis wrote Mayor John Cooper, we reached out to Cooper's office, asking if the mayor is concerned about so many complaints about this in Nashville. The mayor's senior advisor wrote back in part, while your reporting pertains to privately operated parking lots, we are following this issue closely due to our interest in making sure that everyone has a high quality experience visiting or doing business in Nashville. Taylor says she wants the mayor to know her experience was anything but. I had every intention of paying. It just felt unjust, like I was uh, ripped off. I'm Jeremy Finley reporting WSMV4 Investigates. We will be following up with the mayor's office to see if they're having any further contact with the company. Uh, by the way, Jeremy himself just used a Metropolis lot and screen grabbed this proof that he'd paid. Jeremy recommends you do the same so you have proof that you paid in case you're ever in this situation. We also reached out to TriStar. They had no comment. If you do want to dispute your bill with Metropolis or file a complaint with the state, we have that for you right now on our WSMV4 app.